Hello and welcome to another Hearts Ryan 4 video. So remember those two times when I was playing Estonia democratically and going against the Soviet Union on my own? Well I thought, how can I make it worse for myself? And the obvious choice was doing the same, but with Latvia. Hey you there, like and subscribe. And you might be thinking, but isn't that just as difficult as Estonia? No, and here's why. So if you look at Estonia, you have these two provinces to defend. Well, eventually Latvia will capitulate or get annexed and then you'll have an entire southern border to defend. But what if I tell you that if you look at Latvia, you're like, oh, okay, well, there's three provinces here and let's say Estonia falls, you have this northern border. But here's the thing. There is another border. Latvia has three borders to defend, which is one more than Estonia. Because if you count it up, you go one, two, then three which means that three is one more than two therefore it is more difficult <laughs> okay i hope you understood my explanation of why three is more than two anyway i looked at the focus tree and it's like almost the same as going democratic as um estonia so yeah we're gonna be democratic no allies no friends just on our own in the woods against that big scary red guy so let's see how it goes. Holy shit. Latvia actually has a dockyard. And not only that, there is a navy. Holy shit. That is insanely strong for a Baltic nation. But I'm sure as hell not gonna make any more ships because I'm pretty sure that those will only take up my manpower and their effectiveness will probably, uh, well, be, be shit. So we had eight divisions when we started and I switched them all to infantry divisions and merged them and we're left with two properly functioning divisions a little less than i'd hoped for but we'll deal with it i also think i found our general because this mbozo has a forest bonus and he's an infantry officer so that's epic in latvia because it's almost all forest holy shit i can get 16 iron in kurzeme that's epic and you know not to complain but i kind of need iron and everything else not only does the democratic part of the focus tree look the same as the estonian one to a certain degree, of course. But just like Estonia, if I don't do certain things right, I assume, I will get a civil war. Like, Jesus Christ, what is going on in the Baltics that everybody just wants to have a civil war over everything? This isn't the Balkans, am I right? I could go with Latvia for the Latvians and then just do anti-German propaganda. But I'm pretty sure that this all feels very undemocratic. So I'm not doing that. We're gonna go, the sun shines equally. And we're gonna end up with a multicultural Latvia filled with Latvians, Estonians, Lithuanians, and probably some Germans left over from, you know, the, the Kaiserreich era. We will have every different kind of old white guy in our country. It's a good thing we're not going with our current leader, Kurlis Ulmanis. Because although I think, you know, Hearts of Iron players are relatively... At least a little bit nationalistic. Uh, while well, this guy straight up just marries his country. So, do we go with superior firepower or grand battle plan? Because I have neither firepower or enough defenses to dig in effectively. But I do like digging in. Trench warfare it is. So I've banned one guy. And because I banned this guy, the entire chance of a civil war is just gone. You know your movement is strong when one guy gets banned and the entire movement falls apart. So far I've managed to double the army size from two to an entire four divisions. I mean, I mean, it's unheard of. A nation having four divisions, doubling their army size? That, that's just insane, man. Look how good I am at this game. Would you look at this? The industrial might of Latvia will start producing heavy tonks. Here it is, the glorious division that will defend Latvia to the last, of which I have only six and no extra manpower to build more. I will probably die. All right, finally time to become a true democracy. The only true democracy in the world. Latvia, a shining beacon of hope in a world of non-democracies. I don't know, just know that Latvia is the only hope the world, or at least the Baltics, has left. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same cheeky thing I did last time, and that is formalize the Baltic Entente, the and then just, you know, kick them out of the faction, because then I'm technically doing what I said I did, like not joining a faction, because all these focuses require is that I am the leader of a faction. It doesn't mean there have to be actual people in that faction. 
Oh no, we lost some of our Baltic territory. Memo, you will be missed, but not by me. Okay, and now we press these funny buttons and suddenly we are a faction leader. I haven't even taken a look at our leader yet. I have literally never seen this guy in the game ever. So guys, it's been nice being in a faction with you two, but I think it's time we go alone again. I think we'll be stronger like that. Why would Poland refuse the German ultimatum? Are they stupid? The fall of Paris. Well, quick, help them up. All right, guys, united but separate. And I mean, like, so separate that uh, we're not actually in a faction together or have any contact with each other. Uh, just keep away from me, like, at least two meters. Oh, God, the Soviets are justifying on me already. Which would be annoying, but I'm kind of happy they're doing me first. Because that means I'll only have to defend this in the beginning. And only later I'll have to defend uh, the rest of the border. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Why? Huh? Why did Lithuania declare war on me? <laughs> wait, Estonia will- oh my god, no. No, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, I'll go back to the safe because I'm pretty sure that if I don't, I'm completely screwed. Oh, it gives everyone topple government war goals. Yeah, well, that's just annoying. And of course, the Soviets are not justifying on the other two, but they are on me. Okay, very nice. I feel so safe with my forest brothers. Oh, okay, well, I said that. Um, where is Estonia gone? Wait, no, they... What? Okay, so Lithuania and Estonia got a war goal against me, but I didn't get one against them. Okay, I, I don't know, man, that's just bullshit. Oh, look, for the forest brothers. Well, we're kind of missing one. Oh, and there goes Finland. Yeah. And there we go, we. Okay, I had not seen that one coming. But uh, let's just go straight to service by requirement, because I need a lot of manpower to defend this. I'm just hoping we can actually hold this. But I have no extra units. Like, zero extra units. I, I, I guess one of these guys will have to go there and a last stand, because besides that, I can't do much here. I'm going to have to do another last stand or he'll just r r retreat. Yeah, this isn't going too well, but I haven't fallen yet, so... That's good. I think victory or death is probably a good choice uh, for me. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Another last stand, guys. Just gonna have to keep last standing the entire game, probably. I swear, if this dickhead decides to declare war on me again, I'm, I'm so screwed. The front line has somehow held. I had to do, like, one extra last stand, and it was okay. And now it's breaking again, so you go back there, you goddamn bozo. Oh, crap, I wasn't paying attention. Gungi Ginga. I have no more last stands left. No. <laughs> but actually retreating at Tal might not be that bad. Because then I go from having to defend three provinces to only two. So maybe this will be fine. It appears we've actually halted them. That's... Incredible. Oh, don't worry, guys. The army only lacks about 70,000 people. What is this dumbass fucking trade route? Wh why? Why not just, you know, la 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 over the land where you won't get shot down by the Soviet Navy? Okay, I'll just block off these two areas, then they'll have to go by, uh, by train or foot. And I guess I'll be nice. I'll build a railway towards there. It's pretty funny that all I have is static anti-air and some anti-air in my divisions. And in this war currently, I have uh, shot down over 500 of their planes. Oh, I... Wow. Pfft. I was not paying attention and suddenly Lithuania has also evaporated. Holy shit. It's fun how these preppy uh, heavy tanks I have in my divisions are actually doing a good job. Like, the Soviets are unable to pierce my divisions because they have like 30 armor almost. And they don't have enough piercing on all of their divisions. Okay, well, although we still lack about 30k men in the army. I mean, we're getting there. It used to be 70k, so yeah, it's getting better. You know, I like this focus. Technology sharing. We'll, we will enter a tech sharing agreement with all members of our faction. Well, that's good because I have a faction. And it consists of, well, me, of course. And, um... Uh... Yeah, well, no, that's it, basically. So, yeah, we will share technology with ourselves. Very cool. That will be a, a good bonus. 
Oh, hey, Barbarossa happened. That's cool. Uh, we could try to encircle them with the Germans here. That's funny. Uh, sure, don't mind if I do. Yeah, it worked. We encircled, like, yeah, yeah a good amount of divisions, I would say. Okay, a, a decent amount. Okay, the US just joined the Allies. Uh, can I just friendly ask of you guys, as one democracy, as, as, as the perfect democracy, do you flawed allied democracies uh, to wait with D-Day until after the Soviets fall, please? That'd be very cool of you guys. Okay, boys, I've made the savior of Latvia 2.0. They're even stronger, Tonks. 122 armor. Yeah, my infantry divisions have 50 armor with one of those heavy tanks. That is stupid, but hilarious. Yeah, I'm gonna try to counterattack because I think I have a chance. Let's see if we can liberate Estonia. Oh well, more like put it under new management. Yeah, I'm not even micromanaging. I'm just like having my general do this and I'm winning the battles. This is just how easy it is for superior Latvian division to beat crappy Soviet division. Yeah, okay, after all that big talk, I am kind of having a problem with holding the line, but I think that's more with divisions making poor decisions rather than them actually properly pushing me back. Yeah, it's already stopped. I think I want to try push towards Tallinn so I can get the supply hub there. That'd be great. Um, well, rather unfortunate. We barely didn't make it. Like, we came really close. Um, so yeah, now we're kind of stuck here. But they are attacking me, so maybe they're weak enough to get countered? No, they're not, unfortunate. Look at that. My stupid plan worked. I just built a harbor up here to gain some supply because I didn't have Tallinn yet. And now all my troops are properly supplied here and theirs aren't. So get screwed, bozo. Yeah, I'm just going to cut them off from Tallinn and then take Tallinn. Because then I can take some units with it. And you know, everyone likes a good encirclement, don't they? Especially Reddit, which is where I'm going to post my encirclements to get some karma, boys. Whoa, that's all I care about. Reddit karma. Okay, next objective would probably to push towards Narva. Holy shit, I actually just... Almost got it. And we got it. That was easy. Holy hell. This is going way smoother than I anticipated. Can we make it to Leningrad? I bet you we can. We can just walk into Leningrad. Yeah, we did it. We walked into Leningrad. <laughs> yeah, Soviet Union isn't going very well for you now, is it? Yeah, now the Germans are already at Moscow. This will be over soon. One eternity later. It's taking so long for the Soviet Union to capitulate. <sighs> just like the last time. And to think I'm gonna do this one more time with Lithuania. Pain. Suffering, even. Okay. One more percent. And this will finally be over. Oh my god, D-Day has just begun. Oh god, Germany, hurry up. <gasps> Ooh. The game is stuck. There we go. Epic. Holy shit, guys, it's over. What a beauty. Isn't this just... Oh, I love paintings, man. It's epic. Democracy everywhere. Uh, Latvia can into Nordic now. I puppeted Lithuania, so they got this uh, Beethoven-looking-ass guy. Okay, this is interesting. I liberated, like, this side of Poland, and the rest became unoccupied by the Germans. Interesting. I'll leave you with this democratic Tenetuva, and, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. It's been a while since I did a Hearts Fire and War video. Um, well, the deal should be coming out in about one or two months. That'll be good. Yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. How do? Nope, that's what I was afraid of. God damn it. That needed to pull away the units from down here. Okay, this one needs to come back. This one needs to... I can't surrender because I'm on desperate defense. Okay. Um, fuck. Let's hope this guy can hold. Okay, okay. And they're going down here. Okay, this is going down real quickly. This.